I'm Dr. Aaron Spitz, urologist, and welcome to Penis Affairs. Today I'm going to explain to you how a vasectomy reversal is performed. The testicle is where the sperm are formed, and they exit out through little passageways into a very twisty, thin tube called the epididymis. This is where they get their movement. This tube then straightens out and becomes a bit thicker with a muscular wall that propels the sperm up. During a vasectomy, that tube is blocked. So during a vasectomy reversal, the tubes are brought together around the blockage. And the thing is, the passageway through this tube is very thin. It's about a third of a millimeter. So that connection has to be done with precisely placed micro sutures. And then the outer wall is also sutured together with very fine sutures. A two layer connection ultimately reconnects the vas deferens. However, sometimes the back pressure on the system over the years can cause this thinner tube in the epididymis to actually rupture and scar. So in order to reverse the vasectomy, we have to bypass both the vasectomy scar and the rupture scar. And we do that by taking this tube and swinging it over to the epididymis and connecting it there, an even tinier connection. I hope you enjoyed that explanation of how a vasectomy reversal is performed. Tune in again to Penis Affairs as I'll explain other mysteries of the human male.